Oh, the video started. Well, that's a little embarrassing, but don't worry. I haven't just been here this entire time. I've been super busy. You know this whole area in between the cave and the library over here? This whole big box of just everything? Well, I'd kind of like to finish all of it today. And I've gotten a huge start already. And I know this is just like two tiny areas of this whole area that I'm wanting to finish up, but this actually took me quite a while. Just deciding what exactly I want to put in here, how I want to do it. And this thing is just full of little details. We've got cattails over in this corner and that corner. We've got all sorts of little foliage. We've got drip leaf, big and small. I did a lot of replacing the old lily pads in here with the drip leaf because I think the, the lighter green actually works a lot better with just some really small highlights using the lily pads. I replaced all of this moss, well, not all of it, but some of it with some green carpet that gives it a little bit of a texture and then some stone here and there with moss on some of it. I really tried to put a bunch of flowers in here, but I really wasn't happy with how it turned out. So what I ended up doing was actually I, I used candles. You can see there's candles up there and we've got, of course, the... What, what's that thing called again? Spore blossom, that's what it was. But yeah, I really liked how the little candles worked as sort of a, a flower stand-in. I put some behind here. You can just barely see it as you walk by, which I think is perfect because if you just see the candles out there, it looks a little bit strange. But with them hidden back behind there, you're only going to see them out of the corner of your eye. And just that little splash of color does... I, I don't know. I think it helps a lot. Put some more orange ones up there. It's really far away, so it's hard to tell. But I'll be honest, I think my favorite part of this whole thing are these two little areas here where we just introduced a tiny bit of elevation change here. And especially looking at it from down here, it really just helps to break up the straight line that we had up here. Maybe I had to do something more over here. I'm not really sure, but yeah, we also finished over here. And this one, it's a little bit busy. I'll grant that. So I'm not sure if it's exactly perfect. Maybe I need to get rid of some of these roots or maybe there's a, a little bit too much in the way of vines or maybe we could use some more vines back there. But I really like how it turned out for the most part. We've got like some splashes of green in here, a little bit of grass back there. And I really like this whole back kind of alcove area. I mean, you're hardly even going to notice it as you go through, but you'll see we have a little bit of... Uh, what do you call this? Glow berries? Yeah, glow berry. And now it's not lit, so I can't show you what I was... Actually, maybe that was the perfect way to show you because you can see it's darker now. But then if I add a little bit of this in there, it just lights up that whole area with how you've really seen the glowstone. And I don't know, I, I think it draws your eye just a little bit to a place where you normally wouldn't be looking. And I, I think it's pretty cool. We've got, you know, like kelp blocks, but they're kind of hidden behind the vines. So it makes it so this really disgusting white line that crosses it isn't quite so obvious. So I, I really like how that turned out. And even just adding some seagrass and stuff like that down here. And then also up here, we did that. And I think there's some kelp in there as well. And it just, I don't know, it just gives it a little bit more life. Because if you looked at it before, it just... I don't know, it looked really artificial and yeah. Now one of the big downsides of this, I suppose, you might consider it a downside, is it does look a little bit overgrown, but I really think I like that. You know, we've got our library over here and it's more trimmed up on this side, but as you come over to this side, it's not quite as neat. It's sort of rugged, but not completely so. It's a lot to look at, which means you generally are just kind of taking it all in like this. And I don't know, I, I think it all works together pretty well. And again, I say this all the time, but I really want this, especially just standing right here, I want this to be an area where you can view all sorts of stuff and everything looks good from this point. You know, we'll look up, we'll see our mountain, we've got the tree right here the bridge right there and then eventually we'll have you know our temple up there on the top we've got over here we've got these rocks and the garden you can see the buildings and we're actually going to fix this view up a lot in this episode so that's going to be really really exciting we're going to get this this entire area we're finally going to get buildings into it so we're not just going to have like a half a building there and a half a building here going into a bridge to nowhere well i i mean it's it's still going to be a bridge to nowhere because i don't have anything over here yet. This is going to be plenty of work without going over to the other side, but yeah, I'm really excited to get this all done. That being said, all of this terraforming isn't even close to everything that I've been doing. I've also been working down here in our storage room, and let me just say, I like how it's turning out. We have just got, uh, well, you'll see. 
Look at this, we've got pipes going out through here. We've got a pipe going across there. I added in some water elevators and a little drop down chute so that we can get up. It's a little bit awkward, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff up here as well. We've got all of these hoppers going into each of the chests. And let me tell you, it has been quite the struggle to get every single one into a specific chest. I've had to finagle things here and there. We've got hoppers going there, hoppers going down there. And throughout all of it, you've got the beautiful sound of villagers dying in the background. Yeah, I, I really like how this place is turning out. We've got all sorts of chests that we still haven't filled up, but I mean, oh, well, not this this one we've got honey blocks we've got let's see what else there there's a lot of them that aren't filled yet but we've got honeycomb yeah because this this is gonna take a really long time to fill i moved in a bunch of the iron because i already had all that iron in here but we're, we're talking about medium to smallish size farms up there all sending their stuff down here and getting crafted into smaller stuff and then getting packed into shulker boxes which eventually the shulker boxes are going to be what fills up this area so yeah it's going to be a slow process and it's not really a big deal because we've already got plenty of all of the stuff that we've got coming down here and this is just kind of a way for me to not have to go through each farm individually and and for example craft all of the iron ingots into iron blocks and take out all the flowers and uh, you know it's just it's just a, a way for me to not have to do a whole bunch of extra work because it is all automated now and it's just it's incredible. Oh, and the nighttime view is actually pretty great as well. I've gone through here and I've gotten rid of every single torch. I've got rid of every single torch, but still mobs can't spawn here because I've gone through and very carefully went and put down all sorts of little stuff. You know, there's torches underneath, uh, underneath moss in here. Not that one underneath moss. There you go. And here we've got some frog lights down below there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those. I, I I like them, but maybe they're just a little bit too much. Maybe if I could like cover them with a slab or something. I don't know. I'll, okay, slab doesn't work because it covers up all the light, but maybe I can figure out something else to cover up the light just a little bit. I still want to go through and get all of these torches up here taken out, but that's going to be a project for another day because we have got to move all the way over here and get this done. And I guess we actually have more terraforming because this whole wall and that whole wall is not done. But before I do any more terraforming, because I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit <laughs> just kind of tired of terraforming right now. I'm going to go through and make these buildings or at least put up like a general structure for what the buildings are eventually going to look like. Because this place has just got to be filled. We've got to finish up this road and bring it down here and incorporate it into the bridge going up here. I want to have some buildings going along this side. We'll have stuff in the middle. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. I'm really excited. So let's just get to it. And boom, we're all done. You can see I kind of went for a minimalist approach here. We've just got walls made out of a single block, no roofs, the courtyard's a little bit plain, and I really just couldn't be bothered to get this road in, so it's just gonna stay, nah, I'm just kidding. We'll get a little more work done. <laughs> While we don't have any texturing done and everything is still really bare bones, this is the shape that it's going to end up in once we finish up everything. All we need to do now is just a little bit of cleanup here and there. We need to texture up the roofs, texture the walls, put some decorations around here, fill in the courtyard and do something with the side of this building. And I think in this corner right here, or not corner, but this area in between the building and the bridge, I want to create like some kind of sewer system maybe. The kind of thing where you come out here and you look down there and there's like a grate and there's water flowing out of it and then over here on the other side it's going to be flowing out of some sort of little 
pond or something in here. And to be honest, I'm really happy with how this is looking. When I put all these buildings together, I had several goals. I wanted them to look a little bit cobbled together, like they weren't all built at the same time, and everything just got sort of put together. And I think especially with the difference between the granite here, the granite there, and then the stone over here on this side, and then over here by the watermill, you sort of get that feeling. I tried to do a little bit of something there by, you know, putting these buildings together with some sort of scaffolding and stuff like that. And we can do a whole bunch more with that later, but I think that theme is really coming through here. And then my my other goal was I just wanted it to be easily traversable because one of the things you can really get stuck doing in Minecraft is you can build things that look really cool and they're super aesthetically pleasing but they're kind of tough to get around and that's sort of the purpose of this walkway that I put here on the roof. We're going to decorate it so it's going to look so much better than this but it's just an easy way for us to get through the center of them and then over to this side without having to walk all the way around out there and then I'm going to do the same thing with down here because when you walk down in this area, it's just kind of a dead end. Eventually, I might have some other stuff out here that we can go to and look at, but for now, it's just really a dead end. So what I want to do is you're going to be able to walk up these stairs. You're going to come around here and maybe like somewhere around here, there will be a door and then we'll have a sort of pathway coming across here and then back over to the bridge, maybe like an alleyway or maybe like, I don't know, maybe even a bridge of some kind. I'm not sure exactly how it's all going to go together, but I just want a really easy way to get from down here all the way to up here. Aside from that, I just really wanted the buildings to look really interesting. And I think we really achieved that by adding some depth in here, as well as the contrast between the two colors, the lighter gray from the stone and then, whoops and then the reddish from the granite. So we've got some contrasting colors, but we've also got difference in depth where we've got this wall and then we've got this one that makes up the, the walkway. And then coming down here, we have this one underneath, which is actually the same level as this granite. And I just love this for several reasons. The first of which is that we've only got three layers here. We've got farther in, a little bit out, and then back into the same place. But it looks so much more interesting than that because we've got this separation here. This is the same color of granite, whereas this is just a difference in stone. So I don't know, it looks a lot more complicated than it is when you look at it like this. But additionally, I also created created it using this tuff here, which is just a little bit darker than the stone bricks up above, which adds a little bit of contrast to the stone right here. So normally if you would look at this from, I don't know, a little ways away, it wouldn't be super easy to tell that there's depth there, but just by adding that slightly darker color, it makes it easier to notice as you walk by that this is farther back than this. And I think I might even emphasize that some more by adding like deep slate bricks here at the bottom or something like that. But I think all that's left now is we've just got to decorate everything Thing. we've got to do some texturing and this is honestly my absolute favorite part of builds like these because we get to go from just big squares with nothing really there to turning this into a build that lives and breathes and I, I'm just really excited for this. So I'm just ready to get to it and I'll walk you through it as I go. The roofs are pretty simple because I'm just gonna be adding some little highlights of polished deep slate here and there, as well as going through and adding the little granite slash brick highlights over on this one. And for the walls of the granite building, I'm just doing the same mixture of granite and polished granite and brick, but I'm also going to need one special ingredient. There it is. So it's always best to go right underneath where the roof is and clear out all of these blocks so that we can replace it with something just a little bit darker. And that just does a pretty good job of simulating shadow. But if we come down here, it just looks a little bit too forced. There's no blending. And to fix that, I have two little tweaks that I'm going to make. The first is to add some dark oak hanging signs right underneath here. And aside from looking really cool just by itself, it does a really good job of sort of blending in this darker terracotta with all the stone and wood underneath because even when you're looking at it straight on like this you're still gonna see the little bits of the lighter wood here on the sides and it just helps your eyes kind of blend all of this together but we can still do just a little bit better and that's where the ancient debris comes in so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out just a few blocks here and there and replace it with ancient debris just like that And I'll even go through and add just a little more of this brown terracotta going down, but I'll make it a tiny bit lighter by putting in the glow like in there. Maybe a little more over here. And then finish it up with just a couple buttons here and there along the top. 
and maybe even go in just a little bit lower. And then if we step back, I think that looks pretty good. Now just put some decorations on the front, throw in a floor that I'm almost certainly going to replace later, and a couple window panes turn this place into a pretty decent building. Now as long as you can ignore the holes in the roof and the weird walls inside and the not so great floor, then I think this is actually something that's pretty fun to look at. And everything else should pretty much make itself, so why don't you just sit back and relax and we'll get the last finishing touches done here. And with that all completed, I'd say we're roughly 90% done here. There's a few spots that still look a little bit awkward, like right here. I think I need to extend this bridge just a little bit further. In fact, I'll just do something like this really, really fast. And then right here, here, and then a chain on top. And there we go. It's not perfect. I, I think I'll probably add a little bit of calcite in there. And I could maybe fix that door. Just toss this here and then some trap doors on top but I have to do that from the other side of course there we go but yeah there's just these little ins and outs here and there that I still need to put together the interiors of course are completely unfinished and there's a big gaping hole right here but I've got something kind of interesting planned here so I think that's gonna have to wait for next episode I really hope to get all of this done. I know I said at the beginning of the episode that I really wanted to finish everything, but I still haven't gotten to the terraforming here. Just designing these buildings and then getting them actually built ended up taking me quite a bit longer than I thought it would, which is kind of a shame, but... And, oh my, I completely forgot. I totally just ignored that entire section, but... You know, there's there's some little stuff here and there that I've got to finish. With all this stuff in, you can finally start to see the final shape. I especially love the view from this side. Just There's just the right mix of color and also depth. And yeah, I don't know, there's just something about this view that really does it for me. I, I really like it. Totally forgot to add decorations to this pillar. So that's going to be something I've got to do. The front of this building looks really good. I like the, the ancient debris that's in there, but I think this building will look so much better when I actually get the interior done. Because right now, when you look through this window, all you see is the big gaping hole in the roof in there, but it's okay for now. And I absolutely have to mention, one of my favorite things in this whole build is just this little really simple walkway that we have here, where you can walk around and get all the way back down here. It's just a nice way to pass through all of this structure without making it too obvious, I suppose. It's just the kind of thing that you, you see it out of the corner of your eye and, you know, it looks pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it's really, really useful as far as traversing everything goes. Gotta fix all this. I had originally planned for this roof to only be too wide, but I switched it up to be five, I think. So I've got to, you know, go through and get rid of all of this. And this this whole room will be quite a bit bigger. But yeah, as usual, I'm leaving a whole bunch of stuff unfinished. But don't worry, I'll get to it eventually. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but while I was actually over there building up the sewer area, I actually ended up finding a trident, and it's even enchanted with, uh, well, admittedly not great stuff. But I think that's actually my first trident in this entire playthrough, so that's pretty interesting. Maybe I can do something with that later on. I've never actually really used tridents before, so maybe that can be a fun thing to do later on. 
But as the sun sets, I think I'm definitely going to have to call the episode here. I've got a lot of lighting up to do around here. It gets dark down there. I'm sure you saw that creeper that blew up down there while I was building. That was a little annoying because I've gotten really used to having no mobs in this area because I keep it all really well lit up. But all the building I've done has left uh, a lot of dark spots here and there that I have not quite found yet. So gonna have to put a little work into that but yeah this is all gonna have to be for next episode because i am completely out of time i really hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed making it just going through and designing all of these buildings and these structures over here was actually so much fun for me and i hope that kind of came through as i explained how i went through it because i know sometimes when i build things i can just make something and then i'll create a time lapse and you sort of get lost in the getting everything built at once and you sort of miss all the little steps that I take to put everything together but hopefully that came through and you enjoyed it as much as I did but yeah I think I need to stop standing on this side because I keep seeing these little areas that I didn't finish and this walkway that's definitely not finished I'm gonna come over here where I can pretend that I actually uh finished everything that I wanted to but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode Bye.